Gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to day one of Japan, uh, traveling vegan and front of tech Japan, if you like. So I'm in my first warm showers tonight. I have flown into Tokyo last night. I slept at the airport, which is a whole other story. <laughs> and uh, in reality, I slept in Terminal Three. They had really, really big um, long couches there. There's there were quite a few people who were also doing the same thing. So it was absolutely fine, really. I was a bit nervous about it to begin with, but as the night progressed, there was less and less people around basically, and everything got quieter and quieter and quieter. Like all the food places were shutting down, and like there was just you know, all the last flights like went out at half past ten or something, so there was not many people. There were not many people after that, and basically, I decided that I feel comfortable. And I still had my bike with me, I had my bike box, but it's, I felt like it was massive. I was sleeping right under the camera and there were security guards just walking around patrolling the place nonstop. And there are other people there as well, like sleeping, same for the night. And it felt like it was, it was fine. Maybe I got about a four and a half, I'd say, four and a half, five hours of sleep. There were people like still talking and kind of chatting and doing their bits and bobs around people who decide not to sleep through the night but stayed in the airport in the terminal which was fine really because I'd like wake up open my eyes check my bags check my like bike and everything go back to sleep and I woke up with sufficient time that allowed me to basically take my bike to Jetstar and check in domestically again and drop it off and of course it's like what have it <laughs> they wanted to open it up and like look at everything that I had in my amazingly packed bike box but it's fine really it's no big deal they open it up he was really funny I felt like it was maybe the first time for the security guy opening a bike box he like put it on his side and was just started trying to open it on the wider side and it's just like stuff will fall everywhere <laughs> what are you doing please like let's just do it another way and so like I basically was there with him and he was like asking me all the questions about like what is this and what is that and to that it was a battery you know cube the charger the battery thing that I have for my lights like because it looks like a bit funny right it's like a bit chunky block of stuff and then I also had my portable charging stuff I had like another one of these like but a slightly bigger one in my chucked in just in my bike box and again they like pulled that out they're like no it has to come as a as a carry-on you can't have that and then they took all of my tires down the air pressure and I was like oh, oh my god how am I gonna like ride places when I get on the other side I'm gonna have to like hand uh, pump it up because usually I hand pump it like if I can't and this time I have the thorn proof tires and um, thorn proof tubes inside of my tires and those tubes are pretty like freaking fat and they just fill up the entire place so it would have been a bit of a mission it was fine it would have been fine but anyway so fly over I did some like thumbnail work and things like that while I was in the plane and I arrive into Matsuyama, Matsuyama? The town that I'm staying in, I stayed, well, I didn't even say that, I just got in there. And, and, dum dum dum. I made, like, made me the happiest person ever. They had a bike pump. They have a bike pump at the airport. Like, a foot one. How in, they, I think they had three, you know, in case one doesn't work for you. That is insane. I thought that made me so happy. I'm so excited and I have not been to one airport yet that had a bike that had a bike pump there. I always had to go find the closest bike store to the airport and then get my pies pumped up there. So that's pretty crazy. That's really cool. I definitely appreciated that. And it took me like a bit of time to just get everything organized. And oh my god, I was like starving by that time. It was like midday and I haven't eaten anything. And I only had like, I felt very dehydrated as well. I felt like I didn't have enough water. 
the weather has been spectacular though the weather has been so sunny so warm and i'm just like so happy because <laughs> it's like cold in aussie at the moment and it's just like it was so nice cycling through the warmth today during the day and it was so sunny stunning so beautiful but anyway so i was looking for food so i got some money out and i found like a little convenience store there at the airport <laughs> And I saw some sushi, like little triangle things and little rice balls. So the rice ball, I knew it had beans in it. So I knew that it was 100% vegan. But the other two like triangle things, I know that there are some of those triangles that are vegan. Some like there's one that has seaweed, one that has seaweed and wasabi, and the other one has plum, like sour plum. But like, it's really a bowl of rice, right? And you're getting your, your like energy kick from it which is good like if you're a cyclist and the thing costs like 120 yen from like can be 105 120 130 like I've seen different prices in different 7-elevens or convenience stores which an Australian dollar converts to dollar 20 now that I know that <laughs> so it's um and it's like the it's maybe slightly smaller than my like face like my, my um yeah my face like just kind of palm size you know it's uh it's, it's good it's good and because these are available in basically every 7-eleven or like a store that you bike past so that's excellent and it's like easy food that's vegan but but there are also ones that are not vegan of course which sucks because but anyway <laughs> they exist out there and some of them do have it written on the cover what's inside but some of them don't and i grabbed three two of them were not vegan oh like and I, like i take a little bite and like i take like uh, like it's rice around and literally it's like maybe a spoon like a teaspoonful of like filling inside but oh i was so bummed out by the other two and i was just like man but I had my one that was Beamon that was spectacular. I, I I couldn't even like handle. There was like one with cow in it and the other one was with fish. And I don't know, I struggled. It was just like, mm, no, no thank you. Like I had to like spit it out. And anyway, <laughs> you don't need to hear this. <laughs> but anyway, so that was a bit of a... Um, Mm, but yes okay that's fine we made a mistake we admit it and we won't make it again because I found some other ones and I took uh, like a photo of the ones that were vegan like so I'd know what's the writing is like on Japanese of next time I'm buying one and you know the the writing on English is in there but the bean one is really good it's really good and I also had some nuts with me, so I just mentioned that I had like a liter of water, uh, felt a bit better. Oh yeah, I also had a smoothie. I found like a little banana cube fruit smoothie at the store for like maybe about 300, just a bit under 300 UN. So that was all good. Had that and decided that I was, had enough energy in me to power on and start writing. I kind of took a few funny turns. My first impression of Japan, or, or like cycling on Japan streets, right? Like the streets that I went through. Like, mind you, I'm not in Tokyo, I'm not in some big fancy like city. These are like smaller island towns. And what I have found is there's a lot of teeny little streets, but there's still a two way um, driving, like in, in, on these little streets. And the streets are tiny, like you'll see GoPro footage, you'll be like, Oh my god but they're also like super cute and there's like all these really traditional very pretty little houses everywhere like i love that i thought that was so beautiful <laughs> and like so picturesque and cultural and they have like those little bonsai trees you know like those teeny little trees with like funny shaped like leaves and things like that that was really really cool and i really like that and um, just just really cool looking little houses some are like you know a little bit fancier than others but it was just it's cute i got lost a few times but that's right yeah so that's the thing on google maps the bike doesn't work the bike icon thing doesn't work like direct me as a bicycle you can either be a public transport a car or a walking person so i suggest when you're here 
when you are here or like when you are in a country where you know your Google Maps doesn't let you go bicycle route thing right like for example in Australia pretty much everywhere you click there's a bicycle route on New Zealand but anyway what I did I did the walking human little man but do not freak out about the hours right like in the beginning it freaked me out I was like oh my god how long is it gonna take me but no because this is for a walking person you're on a bike so it's gonna take you like way less and if you click the bike if you're really like lost somewhere in the streets and you don't know what's where and like which turn to take just click that and it will lead you right walk there walk there and really I was able to find my way out of my little streets of little suburbs that I got myself lost in very easily like it was quite a few turns and but it was interesting as well it's like just kind of seeing how people live around here and that was uh very very cute so that's cool I saw so many people on bikes like so many children on bikes as well it was like you know people coming kids c coming from school people going shopping people like doing all these things there's bikes like everywhere here and there's so many like bike routes you can set like actual physically like when you try and search for it in google maps it doesn't come up for some reason but when you physically there in the location there is like actual lane where there is like a little bicycle sign so i don't i don't know what's going on there but maybe google are not updating their their mapping system <laughs> but that was really cool and also of course because there are a lot of streets where there are not no dedicated bicycle road as well but it's okay it's fine you just kind of deal with it people are i found people being pretty respectful and they're slowing down and they're really like paying attention because they're really really um used to cyclists here and that's really really cool and i'm just gonna stop for a quick break and we'll be right back and i'm back my beautiful beautiful followers <laughs> sorry about the break i actually had dinner i got uh, i got called to dinner to have dinner with my warm house host by the way check out this like traditional japanese really really cool room like i love it and i get to sleep i know it might sound a bit crazy but i just like i had that idea in my head that like in japan you know people sleep on the floor and it's just like really really cool to experience it so as you can see everything like around me there's my bags i also have this other room i'll quickly take you there like the lamp is very Japanese -y and there's like a little loom rope thing. Oh, I just think it's so cool. And like all these traditional things. Hmm. <clears throat> and these doors, they're, they're like paper. Not that they're not like they're paper. The, like this fabric in between they're wooden and do you see like it's all honestly very japanese <laughs> so cool i just had the loveliest chat with this couple as well that i'm seeing with they're like in their 70s and it's really funny like i don't really speak much japanese and they don't really speak you know but they speak more i guess english than i speak japanese <laughs> I will say that. So, like, just using Google Translator, basically, and it's uh, it's pretty, pretty interesting. Just kind of chatting and talking, and I had a really, really cool dinner. It's interesting, and it's interesting just kind of learning more about different culture and being absorbed into it, right? Just from how different it is. So quickly about tomorrow. Uh, the first half of the route that I'll be doing will be the Se Tochi Shi Manami Kaido Which is like this little route and it's like basically a huge huge road, but there's also a bikeway And I'll be going um, just at the bottom here at the moment and I'll be going to the main island of Japan And there's a few little islands in between and you basically cycle through them this little thing is basically the reason why I 
<clears throat> you know, decided to start my bike tour in Japan through Matsuyane just because this is a very famous bi bicycle like way and it's like 70 k's, so there's a bit of climbing but apparently very awesome epic views so I am excited to experience that and check that out and we'll be definitely taking you with me so with that <laughs> wish me like Frodo's? Can I call you guys Frodo's? <laughs> My friendly, lovely fellas, thank you for checking in again and seeing how I'm going on this trip. I'm having an, a really fun, interesting, exciting time just learning about things, communicating with people, learning how things are done, and getting back to basics, really, and kind of lowering down, lowering down my ego and my kind of how do you say, just sense of, you know, whatever, <laughs> I don't know, materialism or, <clears throat> no, no, I'm not really particularly materialistic anyway, but just really kind of, I love these trips for being able to refresh yourself and bring yourself back to earth, bring yourself back to reality and just kind of tell yourself, calm down, you know. <laughs> Life is pretty amazing. I appreciate everything you get to see and get to experience and every single person that is on your path, that is in your life consistently. All of it is beautiful. All of it is great. And I think it's a total true treasure. And I'm just having a lot of fun. I'm feeling very inspired, very calm. I had a really lovely time cycling today. And the weather was spectacular, as I said, and just it was along the ocean, so that really always calms me down and kind of helps me ground. So it's just beautiful, and I loved it. And I hope you'll enjoy this journey with me. Good night. Remember to stop counting calories, stop counting hills, count your adventures, count your passions, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.